Welcome to another episode of The Wandering Watercolor. Today we're painting another one of the Everyday People watercolor coloring book pages. Um, so if you bought the watercoloring book from me, thank you. I really appreciate that. I make everything by hand. And if you just want to paint along with us, just pause the image, sketch it out, and then continue playing once you're done drawing it. Today it's a pretty simple image, so we'll get right to it. So this is pretty much it. Um, I'm not sure which page it is because I was switching around the pages just so that every cover had a different image, but I'm going to stop doing that so that there's <laughs> less confusion. Um, this is the image, it's just a, just a bunch of old guys playing chess in a park somewhere, and this is what the finished image will look like. It's very simple, um, it's a little expressive, we'll throw in some of the splatters today when we painted. I left these two blank on purpose, just it looks more artistic I guess. If you color in these two, it's kind of like a, it's almost like there's a story there to the image. So I'll put that to the side. As always, have a scrap sheet of paper. It doesn't have to be watercolor, it could be anything. Um, my little brush, it's the same brush that I sell with my little watercolor palettes, and it's the same palette that I'm using. And um, basically, I'm, I'm gonna ch start changing some of the colors in here, um, just because uh, I'm gonna experiment and make it easier to color things with less paint, with um, like more straightforward. And also, these are getting very hard to find, so I'm probably gonna stop including these uh, in the palette, which will also bring down the price of the palette. But anyway, if you're interested in any of that, all of it will be in the description. Um, just use a regular porcelain plate. I also have a cup of water on the side, so I'm not using the reservoir all the time. And yeah, let's get started. The very first thing that we will do is we will color in the jacket of this gentleman right here. The way we'll do that is, I don't know if I mentioned to have a rag as well. Um, that's always good. But basically, we just grab some of the black here. That's too much black. But anyway, grab some of the brown, mix it in. Um, this black has a very blue kind of tone to it and in order to make it more of a truer truer gray we are adding the brown in there because um, it kind of balances it out and a little more brown and there's too much pigment here I need to pick some of it up and just get some water in here okay that looks a little better, but now it looks too brown. So I'm going to just a little dip in there and mix it up. And get a little more water, just a little more. And let's see. Dilute it with some water. Maybe just a little dark blue. Just a little bit of the dark blue. A little more. A little more. That's better. That's about what we want. But we don't want too much. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll grab here from the middle. And just we'll start like this. We'll go where the shadows would normally go. Just go right there. And just all in like that. And a little outline right there. And back here. Okay. Now I'm just going to dip the water, the brush in water. I'm not going to rinse it off or anything. And there's going to be a good amount of pigment left on there. We're just going to go right over this. 
like that just like that and then also here on the bottom just cover all that in cover all of this and also the the hat up here well whatever pigments left in the brush that's what we're going to use and the brim of the hat right there all right i'm just going to rinse off my brush dry it off and i'm just going to go in and pick up a bunch right there dry it off i'm going to pick up a bunch more repeat that a couple of times Now I'm going to add a little bit of pigment and just kind of just do a texture like that, some water, and just kind of maybe some splatters. There we go. It adds some energy to an otherwise fairly stagnant scene so that's good so far while that's drying we can go ahead and focus on this side now this gentleman he's all brown his uh his attire is pretty much all brown and we're just gonna pick that up straight from here but we need to dull it down a little bit so we'll just grab just some of the gray that we mixed and that's pretty much exactly what we need right there and then we're gonna go in and lay down some tones down here we're avoiding these guys but if we get some on them it's not a big deal and then some up here like that Right, just like that now we're just gonna rinse the brush off and then there's gonna be a little pigment left in there with the water that we got on it and you're just gonna go like that just like that like that perfect rinse our brush off dry it off and then go in and pick up some of that pigment create some light in in the color of the jacket just rub it off and then pick that up there we go perfect we're gonna let that dry this is probably gonna be a pretty quick one now down here where their legs are basically here it's covered in shadow so we can just grab this di directly from the pigment and we're just gonna go like this just fill it straight in like that We are going to leave a little section like this, basically to show where this guy's knee is. And it's kind of like receding into shadow. I'm just going to go like this. And maybe cut it off a little bit like that. And we're going to rinse our brush off completely dry it off a little bit some some moisture left in there and then we're going to pick up some of that gray in here and just go like this and just pick up some of it from the edges and then just leave it just like that that's it that's all we're doing there rinse off your brush 
and pick up some of this black that you have here on the side and then same thing for this one we're gonna go in and give a little outline going just like that and kind of forming the leg and some of the folds in the pants and then go underneath here just like that we'll come back and we'll add more detail to both of these areas but we need to let them dry first so uh, rinse off our brush and while the brush is still wet I'm just gonna go right in just like that and obviously some of it bleeds in like some of the colors bleed into the wet area that we just made that's perfectly fine don't worry about that just leave it just like that rinse off your brush and now we are going back to our gray mixture here as you can tell this dried much lighter and that's the case with all colors that we lay down even if they look very dark at the time that we paint them they become much much lighter once they are dry okay so we're gonna grab I'm just gonna add a little bit just a dab of black in here and maybe just a dab of blue a little more blue okay so these two now now there's more pigment less water so it'll be a little thicker and what we're doing here is we're just gonna go like this give a little outline like this basically where the shadows are like that and then right here kind of like that and a lot more down here like all the way in for this side maybe just a couple of quick strokes right there to show some of the folds a little bit over here for the edge of the jacket so that's good and then over here underneath the brim of the hat kind of outline it a little bit I'm um, sorry I'm completely blocking the camera there here just kind of like that I'm going like that and give a little bit right there like that for the fold of the hat just like that dry off your brush completely and then just go in a little bit like that give it a little bit of a fade dry it off again completely because it helps kind of fade in the the shadow I'm gonna grab a little more color here I'm gonna add it right here all in there just like that I'd get some more down here for the sh shadow of the coat underneath the table get a little more emphasis and just kind of quick strokes to the side for the folds of the jacket and step back a moment take a look at it okay it's looking pretty good I'm gonna rinse off my brush here and while there's still a little pigment on it I'm gonna go in here because I kind of forgot this part of the jacket where it's kind of wrapping around the neck okay that's good now we can focus back on this area Get a little more brown a little more brown a little more 
Ooh, just a dab of black. Another dab of black. And get a dab of dark blue. Keep in mind, you can use your own colors. They don't have to be my exact palette. Any watercolor palette that you have will work on this. You can honestly, because the paper is high quality, you can honestly just use any any uh, paint. Acrylic, oil, ink, doesn't matter. Okay. Now that we have this darker brown mixed, I'm just going to go in and do a little outline right there kind of bring it down right there and then down here for the pocket outline the pocket a little bit some of the folds just kind of quick vertical strokes give it a little more shadow there a little more shadow right here and like this and then also the brim of the hat just go in like that nice and slow and then here for the sides outline just like that And dip my brush in the water and kind of give it a little dab on the side here and then go back in and get just a little bit of pigment very little bit right there just to add some variation okay that's good so far rinse off our brush And actually, I'm going to grab this right here. The Oh, what happened to my brush here? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to grab this little bit, th that the part that's diluted with the water. I'm just going to lay it down like a wash right here. Just kind of get it in there. Just to show some form but very very sketchy it's nothing you're not trying to take away from the point of emphasis and just some quick strokes press it up against the paper to get some of that texture in there and just like that same right here to correspond with some of the marks that were made on this side rinse it off okay and get a little tissue here for my brush Sorry, my brush head is uh, acting up a little bit here, so I just got to put a little stopper in there. I didn't notice that it had fallen off before I started recording. Easy fix though, no worries. There we go. Okay, so next we're going to get a little more black, add that in here with the gray, and we're just going to go in, and again, there's a lot of layering here because we want to really emphasize the shadows. I'm just going to go in right there, just like that, some quick strokes there, 
right here some right here and get in right there like that outline under the neck guard of the jacket just a little bit right there and then for the brim of the hat just going right there okay just nice and slow okay perfect so that's good uh, a little bit back here and a little bit right there Since it's a, there's a deeper indent at that part, kind of, we can show that a little better. While this part is drying, we can go ahead and focus back down here on the, on the pants area. We're just going to go straight through, and this is pretty much just direct pigment from the black but because this black has a very dark blue as a base when it dries when you dilute it and it dries it just looks like a dark blue and like that there we go we can fix up some of these edges right here just make a straight edge going kind of rounded and a little bit like that slight line right here and just blocking in some more of the shadow just like that there we go so that's good and rinse off our brush and next we're gonna mix some of the skin color for the faces. I'm gonna put this to the side. Find a new spot on your plate, or just a new plate is fine as well. Had a little color spot there on my plate. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of the burgundy, a little bit of the darker yellow, kinda mix them together. Let's see. I'm gonna get my test paper here. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good skin color. Um, but I'm gonna mix more of it because we want to make sure we can go to both faces as well as adding multiple layers to show shadow. So we're gonna get a little more burgundy, a little more yellow. A little more yellow. Let's see. It's pretty good, but I'm also going to get a little white here. A little, little, little of the white. And that gets us closer to the skin tone that we're going for. Okay, that's good. Now, I picked up some pigment from this area. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip, dip my brush in some water and then carry it back over here. I'm not gonna rinse the brush. I'm just gonna dip it and then bring it back over here. And then, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing, dip it and bring it back over here because we're carrying some of the water over because that'll help us get a very, a very light tone, skin tone. I'm just gonna go ahead and start coloring in. I'm coloring the whole face, just like that. Maybe leave the mustache alone. And it gives us a very light tone. I'm gonna do the same right, actually, 
Now for this one, we're gonna do something different. It's a different technique that we're gonna implement. Let me make sure that it's dry. It's definitely dry. I'm gonna dry off my brush completely. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab this pigment here. We're gonna go in where it's nice and dark, right there. Down here, side of the face. Side of the nose. A little bit inside of the glasses there. Here in the wrinkle leading up to the mouth. And a little bit of this wrinkle. Okay, and then going down here on the chin a little bit like this. Okay, now that we have it like that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my brush just a little bit. I'm gonna, and I dabbed it a little bit on the rag, and then I'm just gonna go in, put in the... And pick up some of the color there. Just like that. And then kind of go over the areas maybe rub it in a little bit so that you can get some of that tone from the shadow that you laid in and just like that maybe you just dry off your brush come in here wherever if it, if there's any pulling or going in the direction that you don't want it but it looks like a very soft transition from very light to a little darker shadow there Now, obviously we're not done. We, we will add a lot more to this area. We're just gonna let that dry for now. Now we can go back to this area with, with the other guy. And it's pretty well dry. Gonna grab some of my color here. And I'm just gonna start laying down harsh light, or ha harsh shadows. Like that. Underneath where the of the head is for the fold of the ear and then right here right underneath the eyelid it's kind of hard but take your time and you can also sculpt the tip of your brush if you need to going in right there and down here just like that, a little bit right here, right here, and for the folds in between the eyes, and then the other eye right there, for the ear, okay, so that's good. And give it a moment, step back. So far so good. I'm gonna grab some more of the pigment. Let's see if this side is dry. Feels pretty dry while that side is drying. We're just gonna grab this. And then we will go up here, underneath the hat. Do more of a harsh, kind of like, really lay it in there. Don't be worried about, because you want to emphasize the shadows. Down here for the chin, like that. Maybe a little bit more coming in here for the cheek, just like that. And here for the outline for the wrinkle leading up to the mouth, just like that, just very gently, a little bit at a time. And for the side of the nose, just like that. And then right there for the eyeball. Okay. And then also a little bit here for the mouth. There's a slight mouth opening.
just like that and also maybe a little bit right underneath the nose just a little where the nostrils are perfect if you're having difficulty with it what you want to do is when you when your brush is loaded with pigment if you kind of do a couple of flat strokes and then you tilt the side of it, you'll see that the side of it, you can get really good thin lines. So if you load it with pigment, do a flat stroke and then tilt it on its side when you're making the strokes. And that's how you can get really fine detail, even with um, very cheap brushes, honestly. Um, that's why I've always felt it's really the person controlling the brush, not the brush itself that really makes a difference. Because in all honesty, these brushes that I put in my kit, they're really cheap brushes. Um, but I like them because of the portability factor, because they have a reservoir that you can just load up and just on the go. It's very, very useful. Okay. Now we're going to let this face dry, and now we're back to this face. And basically, the next couple of steps is just layering in the colors. For the shadows so we're gonna do a little more right there a little more right there underneath the eye like that more right there underneath the cheek back of the ear right there honestly I, I, mean, I kind of like the way that looks like, I don't even think I'll add anything else to that to that face and this one pretty much the same thing just maybe a little more pigment right here and make it darker just up here like that all that, all of that looks fine to me rinse off our brush and we're going to switch back to the other color the, the dark color here um, there is one thing I kind of forgot um, this guy's shirt or scarf whatever this is this is a little blue just very mix the gray with a little bit of the blue and then just go in like this and right here also And just leave that, rinse off our brush. We're gonna focus on some of the darks in here. And grab a little bit of the black, mix it in here with the gray that we mixed earlier, just a little brown in there. And then a little bit of the dark blue. We're really trying to bump up the intensity now, so we're not diluting it with any additional water. We're just going to go in, go right there. Like that. And then right here for the arm, just like that. And try not to touch the area on the face that's drying, just a little bit down back here. We're actually going to avoid the area of the face for right now because it's still drying. We don't want to spill any of the color over into the face. Okay, so that's good. We're going to let that dry. We'll rinse off our brush. And... Actually, I am going to get a little bit of the gray, uh, more of the diluted area, where it's not too heavily pigmented. And we're just going to go like this. Just right here, and then right here, just a, a gray line running across the bottom of the table. It creates some uh, balance because it connects, it almost like your, your brain automatically connects in between 
where this figure is sitting, even though it's completely white. Creates a sort of continuity. Okay. And if you tilt your face a little bit while looking at the image, you can kind of, it'll help you spot what parts of the image are still wet and drying. So I can see that there's still a little bit drying there. This face is pretty much dry, but I'm gonna go in and just get some more of this pigment directly, just directly from the um, little pan in here, and then just go and create some deeper, darker outlines. Like that. And same right here. And just like that. And I'm not going to do it all throughout, just a little bit, just to suggest. That looks good. We'll rinse off our brush and dry it off and go over to the dark brown that we mixed previously. And we add a little more in here, just like that. I'm just trying to really push the values of the really dark edges. that covered up a little bit of the shadow on the skin there but that's okay and rinse that off and next we will use the gray just more on the diluted parts of where the gray is two things. One, we're going to put a little co color in the eyebrows for this gentleman right here. Just go slow. That's fine. And do the same for this gentleman. I'm trying to make sure that the my hand doesn't block the camera. I'm gonna sculpt my brush a little bit better. There we go. Take your time. I'm also saying that to myself as I'm painting that. And right here. Color in the mustache. There we go. I rinse that off. It's looking pretty good and we're almost done. Let me take a good look at it. Um, we do want to add a shadow right here underneath his chin. And this part is dry, so we can do that by grabbing some of this dark gray that we put here. And we're just going to grab a little bit of the little bit of the brown, kind of mix that up right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go right underneath and just kind of like outline the chin a little bit. As well as just go right over the stripes. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Rinse our brush. And dry off our brush. And as I'm drying it off, I'm kind of rotating it, trying to get it to a point. 
and I'm just gonna grab directly from the black I'm not even gonna use any water I'm just getting what's already in there because it'll help me sculpt my brush the pigment helps the bristles stick together and okay there we go you can get some nice thin lines and then we are going to do that for the outline of the glasses and also the pupils of the eyes of this guy on the right here I'm trying to make sure that my hand is not blocking the camera and just go very slowly around the outline of the glasses very slowly come in right there take your time messed up a little bit but I'm not gonna worry about it There we go. And then just a little dot here. Yeah, let me make sure it doesn't block anything. A little dot right here. A little dot right here. And that's that. I messed up a little bit on the bottom here and, and on the on the ear, but it looks fine. It looks perfectly fine. And then for this guy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my brush a couple of times across the scrap piece of paper. And I have, I still have a darker color on here. It's just, it's not as intense. And I'm just going to go, just do a horizontal stroke for the eyes, or rather the eye lashes. Go very slowly. And then the other one. And I'm gonna step back, take a look at it. That's pretty much it. Good job if you followed along. I'm gonna rinse off my brush, put it to the side, and we're done. Okay, so that was pretty much it for that one only 40 only 43 minutes so not bad um i'm interested to see what yours turned out like feel free to tag me on instagram or just leave a message in the comments um if you want to show what what yours turned out like or email it to me um through my website all the info is in the description um but yeah it looked out it turned out pretty good um, I didn't mess up any of the face, facial details like I did in the last one. And it's, that's actually pretty hard to do with this brush. I think that's why I'm going to stop using this brush in the in the palettes. I, I might use actually a different brush just to add into the kits themselves with the books. But anyway, that's neither, neither here nor there right now. Um, yeah, just let me know how yours turned out. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, send me a message. And uh, again, I appreciate you painting with me and I will see you next time.